Hello and welcome to So Easy Sewing's Granite City Block of the Month Block 4 class. We will gather fabrics 14, 12, 5, and 1. I always start by cutting off the selvage as close as I can so that it doesn't end up in my block. First we need 16 2 and a half inch squares. Next we will cut 16 2 and a half inch half square triangles. Now we will cut four one and a half inch by twelve and a half inch rectangles and four one and a half inch by ten and a half inch rectangles. We always want to use our scrap pieces first when possible. We will cut eight one and a half inch by two and a half inch rectangles. Finally, from fabric one, we will cut eight one and a half inch squares. From fabric five, all we need is two two and a half inch squares. From fabric 12, we will cut 16 2 and a half inch half square triangles.
fabric 14, we will cut 16 one and a half inch by two and a half inch rectangles. And last, we will cut eight one and a half inch squares. start with piecing our half square triangles. Take one 4B triangle and one 4H triangle and sew them together. These are our unit A pieces. We will now press the seam toward our darker fabric or 4H triangle. Next you want to make sure that your pieces are a two and a half inch square, but that your seam goes directly down the center angle like so. You can then trim your tails and any excess fabric. We will now take our 4E and 4I rectangle pieces and sew them together. This will make our unit B pieces. Again, we will press these toward our darker fabric or our four eye pieces. When squaring up these pieces to two and a half inches squared, you want to make sure that your center seam runs along the one and a quarter inch line so that you have the same amount of color on both sides.
take a 4F and 4J square and sew them together. press our seams toward our darker 4J fabric and square them up before moving on to the next step. rectangle to our squares to form unit C. Press these seams up toward our squares. our rows. To make row one we will use two unit A pieces and four four A squares. For our second row, we will be using two unit A pieces, two unit C pieces, and one unit B piece.
you want to nestle your seams whenever possible. However, this will only happen on one side of your row. For row three, we will need one 4A square, two unit B pieces, and one 4G square. repeat the same steps for our fourth row as we did for our second row. the steps for our first row for our fifth one.
now we will press our seams. For rows one, three, and five, we will press our seams out. And for rows two and four, we will press our seams in. Take care when pressing not to press your seams from previous steps the wrong direction. You want to make sure all of your seams are laying flat. When sewing your rows together, you can go about it two different ways. You can either sew starting from your center row and working your way out, or you can sew your top two and bottom two rows and then sew your center row to each of those. Whichever method you choose, make sure that you nestle and pin all of your seams together so that they press against each other and sew together perfectly. Make sure that you don't run over any of your pins. We don't want to break a needle.
to press our seams in, taking care to make sure all of our seams lay flat. Now, like with all of our blocks, we will attach our rectangles around the edges. We will take two 4D pieces and attach them to opposite sides. going to press these seams out toward the edge. And our last two pieces to attach will be our four C rectangles for our last two sides. And again, we're going to press these seams out toward the edge.
congratulations, you finished your fourth block.